Welcome to Jurgen's Journeys. Please like, share, and subscribe. How we doing? Uh, so, I'm Jurgen, and this is Jurgen's Journeys. Today, I'm starting a little series called Tips for Trips. It's uh, for people like us who like to travel. But a lot of folks who are on the road traveling today are fairly new at this. And uh, well, even people that have done it a long time like me are never too old to learn a new tip. Um, so I, uh, that's the reason I started this little series. The first episode in this little series called Tips for Trips is uh, about how to back in my trailer. Now, uh, my trailer's not real big and it's not real small. I've done some videos on small trailers, little teardrops, real nice little economical trailer. Uh, I'll put a link up here so you can uh, check those out. Um, there's a couple of videos on them. And, um, but the, the thing is, those small trailers are just as important backing up as a big fifth wheel. Now, my trailer, being a 22-footer, is about the size of my van, and uh, even with a smaller trailer like this, it's uh, important to, uh, to know how to back into a campsite. So, uh, come on, I'll show you, I'll show you where we're gonna try to put this trailer, and I'll give you five tips on how to back in a trailer. So come on, we're gonna go up here and uh, check out this campsite. Now I'm doing this at home because, uh, well for one thing, I don't have to worry about others pulling through and trying to get by while I'm making a video. But this is something that you may want to do too because uh, it's good to practice um, at home before you get to the campground. That way when you get to the campground, it'd be all like, hey, I ain't no newbie. I know what I'm doing. So, uh, you know, try it out in a parking lot or in a, in a farmer's field. Be sure and get his permission and uh, make sure there's no bull around. Yeah, I don't know if you can see him. Uh, there's a bull over there and I, I did a video not long ago on that one. Uh, here they come, <laughs> They're, they see me. There's that big black bull. Uh, I don't know, you can't see him good. Let me, let me enlarge that a little bit. He's, he's way over there. So this wasn't gonna be another video about cows and such. <laughs> well, I couldn't resist. <laughs> uh, what I wanna do first and what I always do when I get to a campsite is I get out of my vehicle and I check out the site. I walk through it, I look for obstacles, I look for dangers, you know, overhead. I always look up to see that I'm not parking under a widow maker, you know, a big limb that's gonna fall down and, and uh, make my, my wife into a uh, widow. So, um, Let's walk around this site here and I'll point out a few of the things that I look at when I'm preparing to back into a campsite because not all campsites are pull-throughs and even a pull-through deserves inspection. So let's go inspect this thing. All right, so what I want to do is I want to put my camper on this side of the log bench and my canopy is going to come out over, over the bench. Now I see right now there's a branch sticking out there. That's, I don't know, there's nothing really on the ground except a little bit of a hump. Let's, uh, let's get a better, closer look. See, there's kind of a little bit of a bank right here, but that's not gonna be a problem. Uh, I'm gonna be coming in, I'm gonna be coming in over here, and I'm gonna come in right here. So. Coming down this way, I've got a bush. That's that, uh, that's that mountain laurel. Right 
there. And uh, this is quite uneven. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to raise it. We're gonna have to raise the trailer quite a bit right there. But uh, you can see right there's a branch hanging out. I may wanna knock that thing down, I don't know. I can come in here, yeah, I think I can clear it. I can come in here and then cut it. So this is where we're going to end up, right in here. So the first thing I wanna do after I pull up, I'm going to uh, aim for a couple of targets. Of course, I've got the bench, which I can kind of go by, but I also want a rear target to kind of show me that I've gone, that I've backed up far enough. So I'm gonna set up a couple little targets and then we'll back in here. Now, a target can be anything, just something that you can see in your mirror. Uh, you could take something that you've already got in the van, you know, some uh, emergency uh, cones or a, 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 a block, some kind of blocking or, uh, you know, just whatever you've got. Or you can, you can do like I'm doing. I'm just going to pick a couple of uh, green branches uh, that I'll be able to see and I'm going to stick them in the ground and that'll kind of give me something to shoot for. All right, so put one end. This will be one, one of the back corners of the trailer, right there. And the other one will be over here. Uh, in the same way, it'll be sort of in line with that end of that bench right there. Put that where I can see it. All right. Let's go see if we can back this up. That branch bothers me. I think I'm gonna knock it down. Yeah, let's see here. Let's lay on up there. <laughs> it's pretty stout. way at least it didn't want to break that's an oak tree but I got it out of the way so let's go try this thing out now one of the most common mistakes that drivers make when they're backing a camper in is they don't pull up far enough to begin with you need to pull up past where you're going to start your turn when you're backing up if you don't pull up far enough, you end up pulling up at least twice. Another thing you have to remember is to just take it slow and easy. Um, most accidents and damage occurs when you're in a hurry. If you get in a hurry backing up, then you might be asking for trouble. Don't worry about that line of RVs in the road behind you. They don't want to scratch theirs up either. So you just take your time and get it in place. And don't tear anything up. Take your time. Alright, so we got it in here without any incidents. We used our little uh, targets and that was very handy, especially if you don't have somebody spotting for you. Uh, gave me a good place to, uh, to aim for, to stop, and uh, so we got, it, we got it set up. Now we're just going to put out the awning and put down the stabilizers and do all that kind of stuff. But uh, that's really all I want to show you this week was uh, backing in to a camping spot. And uh, you know, just take it slow, 
be careful and uh, you won't have any problems. So uh, next time we're going to show um, how I put up my uh, screen tent. It's, I mean, it's a two-man job to put up this screen tent, but I do it by myself, so that should be funny. Um, but no, no, you come back next week and I'm going to show you this uh, great Eureka screen tent. I think you'll like it, so uh, join me again next time. And until then, may all your journeys be safe. May God bless you.